Good morning, children. How are you all? Hope you are all doing good, children. Today's session, you are going to learn about economics. Remaining lesson, okay, as a part of three, okay. Yes. Before moving to today's session, main concept, I want to give a small review about this lesson. In the two session, the past two sessions that you have learned about the introduction of this lesson, how the money is fascinating, play a role of fascinating subject, and full curiosity that we have learned a lot. What the mean of the meaning of money? Money means what? It is a fundamental discovery. Money is anything which is widely accepted in payment for goods. Or in discharge of other business obligation, okay. Through by this, you have known about a definition of money, and you have learnt in the past class about evaluation of money and barter system. Some of the major stages through which money has evolved, okay. Under the various categories such as it take a shape like as commodity money, metallic money, and afterwards what now. the new modern era what we are using paper money credit money otherwise it is called as bank money near money near money such as credit cards and debit cards okay the recent form of the money is a shape of plastic money plastic money is are categorized by two types one is credit cards and debit cards near money means you can tell the example of bills of exchange treasury bills bonds debentures saving certificates etc is it no children yes and part 2 you have known a lot about e money means what electronic money and the online banking system net banking that means and e banking under that you have learnt about electronic banking and also known as it is called as what national electronic fund transfer is it no children you have learned a lot about that new modern era money transaction and value of money also you have understood about the meaning value of money is meant the purchasing power of money over goods and services in a country okay under that value of money the two types internal value of money and external value of money also we discussed in a last class and as taken to that nature of money that money has divided into the various functions such as see here in this slide money are classified as in various types such as it function as primary or main function secondary or secondary function we can say it is no only the secondary function after playing the role of primary it come to the stage of secondary function or next one is third one is contingent function okay children regarding this you have uh, we have discussed about that past class and the primary under primary function it is also called as main function we are going to known as briefly in this session today okay children see here primary it means basic function of money money what can it do money it act as a medium of exchange or otherwise you can say it is a means of payment as using of money a instrument to exchange of goods instead of paying money you are getting back at what the commodities goods and or services is called as what the usage of money is known through by the medium of exchange and the next the money is utilized for what to use give, give lot of use about to measure value of money okay these are all the main primary functions and see what is the secondary function of money the three important of secondary functions one is deferred payment standard of deferred payment and second one store of value or otherwise you can say it is store of purchasing power third transfer of value or transfer of purchasing power let me see elaborately about the secondary function see here children the three important secondary functions such as the first one is standard of deferred payment <coughs> money help the future payments to your yeah. seeing about the subtitle of standard of deferred payment children 
listen carefully money helps the future payment to a borrower borrowing today places himself under an obligation to pay a specified sum of money on some specified future day is called as what deferred payment he promised to that person has promised to pay the specified amount in future day is called as a standard of deferred payment and second one store of value or otherwise it is called a store of purchasing power that means savings were discouraged under barter system so as some commodities are like a perishable commodities such as what give the example of perishable commodity means what that you have to give like as milk fish meat etc which are all have the very short period of life the introduction of money has helped to save it for future as it is not perishable is called as what a store of value goods okay children see here now next third one transfer of value or transfer of purchasing power money makes the exchange of goods to distant places as well as abroad possible it was that felt necessary to transfer money from one place to another so far here the money is act as a second function in the name of transfer of value okay said okay next one see here and contingents contingent function means under that contingent function what that you are seeing there are basic contingent means here children you take the definition of this a group of people from the same country organization etc who are attending an event is called as what contingent so like us here a contingent a work of some matter it is done by money is called as contingent function is played by a uh, object of money is called as contingent function what it play the role here the basis of credit it plays as and increase productivity of capital to for producing using of money as a capital the produced or produced by the producer it do also as one of the contingent functions of money and third one is measurement and distribution of national income is also measured through by what through by the instrument of money so it is called as these are all the roles were played by money in three category one is primary function another one is secondary function and third one is it done some other important function is called as contingent function okay yes next we are going to move about and the subtitle it is called as savings in banks and investment already you know the meaning of savings and investment okay see here children savings consumers disposable income the remaining amount which are all remain after his disposable income what are all he needs after dispose his income the remain amount is called as saving several ways to save money there are various way various ways for what to save their money so savings are defined as a part of consumers disposable income which is not used for current consumption at present it is not used by the person so rather kept aside for future use it is called as savings there are several ways through which a person can save money various ways he may save his money in various ways such as the banking facilities using of saving money through various forms of accounts the account may be a student saving account we can say saving deposits current account deposits and fixed deposits so these are all the benefits which are all come under the category of savings and see here student saving accounts if you have taken to an example means there are savings accounts some banks offer specifically for young people you take the example of your children you itself as example young people enrolled in high school or otherwise some you are uh, you are uh, that means no your elders who are all studying in college and uh, high secondary schools means they too also enroll their name in a bank as a name of to open a new account a saving account and the main future of more flexible terms such as a lower minimum balance requirement is needed to open what to open a student saving account and see here next so through by this high school students and college students were open their saving account by using of lower minimum balance requirement and see this is a picture it is depict 
it give an idea to save money okay yes as saving little by little it increase once as a huge amount in future okay the symbol is depicted about saving a pen is save on a bank okay children yes next we are going to move about benefits of saving what are all the benefits that you have seen the benefits a lot of benefits especially you will be financially independent sooner you get that first one and afterwards you would not have to worry any unforeseen expenditure what does it mean of unforeseen expenses expenses is also called as expenditure unforeseen means without you never think about the expenditure but it happened in your life so it is called as unforeseen expenditure for example uh, that is no uh, as an immediately some family have fixed marriage to the elder sister or brothers the two expenses or that why some hospitality expenses hospital expenses etc come as a category of unforeseen expenditure and next see here in future you will have financial backup any problem means you take down the example of two days at present how the people are suffer in a problem of losing their jobs because of what the lockdowns isn't no at that time the <coughs> saving will help to the person as a name of what have the financial backup so in future you will have a financial backup in place if you lose your job means here the saving will help you okay and see that next one you will be prepared for future circumstances changes whatever may be it is happen in your life so at that time as suddenly to stand up without any what stream that the saving is help you so this to also the benefit of savings and more comfortable during the period of retirement for what for the better tomorrow's life okay for the senior citizen okay children and next you see here intensity to save among the students how to encourage the student to save the habit of money save the money the habit of saving money and and that is what teach them about taxes means what and accounting means what okay so this is called as what that is intensity creating interest upon the students taxes means what you known as very well it means what it is a payment made by the public to the government as compulsory and accounting where accounting means what where account is take as notes income and expenses it is called as accounting what comes in and what goes out for the month or for other, otherwise it is called as entire year okay accounting so like us uh, the student should have to know through by the saving what is taxes mean and what is account mean and grown up money decision also during the period each and every one involve them in a grown up money decision whether which is a right period to increase money and in which is right period to have to be uh, expenses as in a economically so next to third one encourage them to apply for scholarship them means who me are the students have to get the encouragement from the elders for what to be about the mean to know the meaning of the importance of scholarship through by you can intense okay and next see here help them to budget and apply for the student loans how to be applied to receive what students loan nowadays a lot of banks are issuing student loans for their higher studies and personal savings to how to the students should have to teach that no the how to teach them the uh, teachers have to teach them about the personal savings not only the teacher the parents the elder should have to uh, see the importance of personal savings and see here a sanjay ka scheme this is a scheme was introduced by the coastal government especially in a uh, government schools about what a small savings habit should have to followed by whom by the students in their in childhood itself okay yes see here in the schooling time the students are have uh, insisted to save money under the scheme of sanjayika and here the personal saving habits which are all you done in your home by using what the putting the money in a uh, that is uh, as a holder of money okay 
yes holder of that a small uh, home bank that you are having in lot of shapes like as in a mud 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 shape of the clay like as no the various shape like as a doll shape and otherwise the object look like as a uh, any fruit shape etc that you have seen most of you students having the habit of personal saving too is it no whenever your parents saw what gifting you money as what birthday gift at that time you are what you have done you are done as to started to that save your money okay yes next to see here we are going to move about the investment investment means what there are lot of ways to be invest your money in a right way see the process of investing different investment the process of investing something is known as what investment it could be anything that is such as you may invest as a money time efforts or other resources that you exchange to earn returns in future is called as investment investment can be made in different investment vehicles such as what like as this stocks stock bonds mutual fund investment commodity futures investment insurance as an investment annuities as an investment deposits as a investments these are all the examples okay children see here stock stock means what take the note of this an amount amount of something that has been stock that has been kept ready to be used or other hand it refers to the stock certificate of a particular company is called as stock okay children next to see bond already you have known about that bonds mean what once again i am just giving a small recall to you a bond is an instrument of indebtedness of the bond issuer to the holder okay most commonly the common bonds includes municipal bonds and corporate bonds okay children see now that is next one mutual fund the meaning for mutual fund is what see a third one the mutual fund it is an open end professionally managed investment fund that pools money from many investors form of many investors to purchase securities and next one in common that is no commodity futures commodity means you know as everybody has known as very well it is a goods which are all used for the uh, future use so it is too also called as investment for example we can say as gold and silver saving and investing on gold and silver is also called as a commodity for uh, invest for future use and next see here insurance insurance means what an arrangement with the company in which you pay them regular amount of money and they agree to pay the cost that is in future whether you have fall on any risk for example suppose a person who took insurance on him has accidentally he die or ill fall on ill means at that time if Uh, he will that a person lose or damage something. Otherwise, you can say like that. And costly things may can claim the insurance amount which are worth for that product. Okay, so it is called as insurance. Annuity. Annuity means it is a service of payment made at equal intervals for a whole year. Is called as annuities. Annuities are regular deposits to a saving account monthly. okay home mortgage payment etc is also known as annuities next at last deposit account you know known as variable deposit account means what depositing of money on a bank as a name of account holder is called as deposit account so these are all the categories of what investment okay children yes let me move to that next slide see here this slide is depict you a proverb of what it is give a picture of the proverb that is there is a uh, famous proverb like as little drops of water make the mighty ocean so like a saving from little by little step by step it creates is happen as what at the last of the at a long period you will save a huge amount so saving habit is very good from the yearly period of your life every person's life 
so this is the children that is the picture is depict about the importance of savings and next to see savings deposits to save a part of current income as yes, one of a part of your income is how to save and small amount of interest will be you receive as per what as per as as per behalf of the saving deposits and the current deposits current account deposits opened by especially from the businessmen and business firms traders public authorities etc or undertaken this word the type of current account current accounts are generally opened by business firms traders and public authorities the current accounts help in frequent banking transaction as they are re repayable on dem demand okay so this is called as what current that means current deposits account deposits or current deposits we can see and next is here fixed deposit means what fixed deposit accounts are meant for investors who want to see here who want to their uh, principal to be safe and yield them fixed yields the fixed deposits are also called as term deposit as normally they are fixed for specific period okay for a special period is called as what a uh, fixed deposits okay children yes as to the term deposit next we are moving to the comparison of saving and investment how you can come to know a small glance regarding the saving and investment comparison meaning savings means what it is give the meaning about the part of the person income which is not used for consumption is called as saving and here it is refer the process of investing of fund and capital assets with the view to generate returns in their future is called as investment purpose of the saving means what savings are totally a fulfilled short of term or urgent requirement we will be re reclaim it but here see that investment is made to provide returns and the help in capital formation for no to be creating more and more uh, cap production through by using of the capital formation so this is the difference between of the purpose in savings and investment okay see here risk what are the risk or undertaken in saving low or negligible not at all as too horrible okay risk you have to be face under the saving but here a heavy risk you can be faced during the investment in your business sometime your business phase as a profit and another sometime your business phase as a fluctuation and see uh, returns what it no or less sometime no interest will be you receive okay returns and sometimes somewhat a little bit of interest benefit you will receive from the saving here comparatively high because here investment risk is lot the risks are lot here so liquidity highly liquidity whenever you needed the money you can take the money you can expenses it undertaken the money is called as liquidity but here less liquidity once the money is invested for your business means it never be back as soon as possible so it is called as less liquid okay children next to see here black money we are coming to another one topic black money black money is any money on which it is not paid to the government the account is not shown as openly transparency to the government is called as black money it illegal activity black money is a money earned through any illegal activity and controlled which is no against restricted by the government rules and regulation is called as black money under the the underground economist activity see here the black money proceeds are usually received in the cash from underground economic activities and such or no tax it so that type of money is called as what black money black money is accumulated by the criminals especially by the criminals smuggler holders 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 and holders means those who are not showing an account as openly to the government as a name of what tax payers they have hidden hide their money as entire huge money is called as holders tax ev evaders tax evaders means here those the people who are not paying tax regularly to the government they want to cheat the government are called as tax evaders other anti social elements of the society are all come under the category of what category of the black money okay children see here 
smugglers smugglers means is the illegal transportation of objects subsistence information or people such as out of a house or building into a prison or across an international border in violation of applicable laws or other regulation is called as smugglers okay tax evasion that means you have that no tax evaders is also called as tax evasion the crime of Uh, that is the crime of not paying all the taxes that you should have to pay this command by the government but here the person is not paying the tax where the tax is levied on him it is called as the person is a tax evader so these are all the earning the money through by this way are called as are categorized as what black money okay children see here the picture is given a idea about the black money which is black means it is not in a black color the amount which is not taken into the open account it is not shown to the government as this amount is i'm having i'm holding like by the particular person who are holding a huge amount he is not showing his account to the government means that type of money is called as black money to the tax evaders are example and the smuggler to underground smugglers they too also not shown openly what the money they have earned in a way of legal illegal way illegal activities through earning money are called as black money okay children yes now i hope that you have understood about black money means what is it no come let me move to the next slide effects of black money on economy dual economy what are all the effects the black money means dual economy double counting of the earning it is a problem another one problem is what no tax evasion the government face a problem of tax evasion so through by this the government is not earning money okay from the side of taxes and undermining equity the equity is also uh, one of the causes for what undermining equity not as given importance that each and every uh, citizens duty is that to show a correct account to the government like as undermining equity is not done by the person means it to also one of uh, the demerits of the black money on economy and the widening gap that means such as it create a gap in among the side of uh, the rich and the poor people and the lavish consumption spending too also one of your problem of black money lavish means what giving or spending a large amount of money and distortion of production okay children distortion the act of twisting or altering something out of its true natural or its original state so not saying the production is what production is actual production is what what turnover is what that too also not submitted as a original records it too also one of a problem of what the black money problem in economy and distribution of scarce resources okay lack of resources is called as what uh, that uh, that is also one of a major cause of black money and effects of production there are lot of problems during the side of a uh, production will happen okay production means a large industries which are all produced no they too also not given a clear idea regarding their uh, prompt production okay these are all the effects of black money and next to see recent steps the government have taken means the government as a switzerland to made a key changes and what are all the foreigners who are all saving in the uh, bank it is called as a swiss bank which is situated in switzerland most of uh, well rich well to do persons uh, millionaires of india were deposited their money as secretly without showing their account to indian government they were invested a lot and lot of uh, money millions of money in the bank of swiss last switzerland at swiss bank so here the government of india asked to the switzerland government to be as what to be help them to india to know their natives original account of money what they are hold at there so some of that uh, key changes were taken by our indian government uh, along with the collaboration of switzerland government and see here special investigation team also is no formed for what to as destroyed the black money system and the demonetization demonetization means what it is demonetization where downing the value of money 
say to officially stop using particular okay it is called as here demonetization in india on 8th november 2016 the government of india announced demonetization of all rupees hand 500 and 1000 rupee notes against what to black money to control the black money okay children this is the meaning of demonetization which is introduced by our present prime minister who narendra singh narendra modi okay not narendra singh okay? narendra modi honorable our prime minister narendra modi ji introduced word this demonetization system on 8th november 2016 children next to see some le legislative framework in india against to black money money laundering act is introduced by the government of india in the year 2002 okay controlling of money and the lokpal act and the lok adalat lok adalat act is also what introduced by the government loka yukta we can say loka lokayukta lokayukta act okay and the prevention of corruption act 1998 is introduced to control what black money and assets bill and the binami transaction prohibition act 1998 is also changed as in the period of 2016 the real act the real estate act 2016 is also introduced there okay see here so it's children controlling of black money is called as taking out all the black money from rich people is called as money laundering act it is introduced in 2002 lok act means it is an anti corruption authority at present the person of lokpal who headed by pinaki chandra goes i'm talking about this pinaki chandra goes is here a uh, member of this lokpal okay a chair person of a lokpal under lok adalat means lok adalat is one of the alternative dispute resolution mechanism in india it is a form it is a form where case is pending on panchayat okay children the binami means what a term used for those transaction where the real owners or buyers remains annoyances and his place is taken by a substitute who does not actually make the payment but merely lends him his name is called as binami okay see here the real estate real means what real estate means what it is a tangible tangible so you can able to see touch that one a property make up of land as well as anything on it including building flora and fauna and natural resources is called as real estate so this two also as act is introduced in 2016 by the indian government children see here symbol of rupee the indian rupees this is marked by it is designed by our tamil nadu citizen mr uday kumar this is, uh, symbol is now at present following in our indian rupee it is approved by the government of india in 15 july 2010 and you have to know about that inflation and deflation means what inflation is nothing but where the prices are rising the value of money will fall here the see the inverse relationship money and price and devaluation deflation means what refer to the prices are falling the value of money will rise okay next children lack of the time i'm going to um, wind up that class children so because we are having a, a lengthy of this book back exercise so we will see the book back exercise in the next session okay children yes. up to that you have known about the importance of money saving and investment i hope that you have learned a lot about the evaluation of money types of money okay as a commodity money plastic money near money okay importance of money and you also known about the savings and deposits and investments as lot and afterwards at last you have known about the black money and it its effects and last the slide you have known about symbol of rupees okay and inflation and deflation means what i hope that you are all understood children take care be safe in your home do your homework regularly without fail